Sky got a mailer, got a, a statement from the leader of the Dacha party, Jeremy Acton. Um, the Dacha party is one of the 1,700 registered political parties in South Africa. It did not contest in 2019 and it will not contest in 2024. But the Dacha party statement said it was throwing its backing behind the organic humanity movement. So one of the newer political parties on the scene. Well, not new. I, I do have some name recognition, I think, from the 2021 local government. Uh, election, um, but there was a mad dash last week for political parties to secure enough signatures to see them qualify for the ballot on 29 in, on the 29th of May. The organic humanity movement is is one of them. So so based on the Dacha party saying, oh, we'll throw our weight behind the organic humanity movement. I thought, let me find out what this party is all about. Lauren Evanthia is the leader of the organic humanity movement. Thanks so much for joining us, Lauren. Um, I must say I recognize the name. I do not recognize any platform or manifesto on which you will be um, basing your election campaign on. So maybe you can inform us who and what is the organic humanity movement. Hi, Lester, and thank you, and hello to all the listeners. The Organic Humanity Movement, or OM for short, is pretty much what you were saying earlier. We are a resistance movement. We are resisting the way life works here in South Africa, and everything we're about is system change. We want to completely liberate South Africa from all the systems of oppression. And those main, main systems of oppression, the first systems that we need to talk about are the political and the governance systems. And we, in our manifesto, which can be found on our website, outlines exactly how we want to do that. What's the issue with our current system of government at the moment, Lauren? Political parties, ironically. It's uh, very ironic, stated, a political party contesting an election against political parties. 100%. We say we, we are the political party to end all political parties because we believe the multi-party system, as declared in our constitution, is the biggest downfall to South Africa. Because firstly, it prevents proper democratic participation from the citizens with government, and it allows literal like gang setups to run the country. All political parties internally run almost like gangs, where candidates have to prove loyalty to party bosses in order to get onto the list, in order to become your representative. So they have to betray their constituents, sometimes betray their own values, sometimes be quiet on issues they care about most, so that they can please those that are superior to them in the party organization, so that they can lead you. So it's a, it's a complete annihilation of what a democratic country should look like. Does the One Humanity Movement have a constitution on how you base your political parties? An orga organic humanity movement. Humanic, sorry. Your, your organic humanity movement, sorry. D does the, an, the, you have yeah. a constitution? Internally, yes, we do. And what happens if one of your members who's on your election list violates parts of your constitution or they given reprieve, if they make some sort of penance? Are they still in the party or are they kicked out of the party? It depends on the severity of the actions. We don't have any internal elections. So I don't know if mm. you've realized with a lot of parties, there's always these fights every once in a while because of internal leaders. Who's going to be the provincial leader? who's going to be uh, the metro leader, whatever, who's going to be the branch leader. We don't have any internal elections. We will identify the NEC, uh, which is seven of us, will identify um, someone and say, hey, they look like a good fit for this position, and then we'll ask them if they want to do that. So, 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 so where's your form of internal democracy, which then should espouse a, a national government or a national government's formation brought out of a process of, of a democratic vote? Ex explain that to me. I'll explain it. The organic humanity movement, and just like any organization, just like any business, is not a country. It's not a nation with citizens in it. It is an organization with a goal, and we need to achieve that goal. We can't let internal party politics the way it's been done since the dawn of our democracy to interfere with achieving the end goal of system change, where we get rid of political parties and allow the, the, the voter base to vote directly for the president. And now most people, we've asked people in public, do you know that you don't vote directly for the president? And they're like, no, I'd never thought of that before. We don't vote for the president. The most important uh, office in the country is decided upon by candidates you also did not vote for. 
Lauren, you lead. You, you're you leader of the one of the organic humanity movement. You you have the opportunity, at least on the ballot. Theoretically, you could be the number one candidate of the organic humanity movement when you are possibly elected into the National Assembly with a majority of votes. You could be president. What is then your plan for South Africa? Top-down approach. You say you're not here for a top-down approach in a system of government. What are your plans if you theoretically get the majority of seats in parliament and could be voted as, as president of this country with a majority of votes in the National Assembly? What's your plan? If we're speaking hypothetically, then the plan is constitutional transformation. So how we achieve the changing of the government structure and changing of the political system, we do through changing how the constitution is laid out. So legislators within parliament and I, as the hypothetical president, would put that into place. So what would change in the constitution? Um, The structure of government, we want to get rid of provincial legislation. We want to give local governments a completely different mandate. And we want to make sure national government only has three departments, one being infrastructure and resources, one being the justice system, and one being the defense of the country, which is something national government has ignored forever because we're always, you know, with international organizations in other countries begging for scraps. I believe that we should be protecting the borders of our country against international threats, strengthening our military, making sure South Africa is a strong state with a strong identity, and I don't see that happening. And then local government will actually take care of all the rest, education. There'll be more flexibility in the education system. And anything that national government does that doesn't fall under the responsibility of the three I mentioned, infrastructure and resources, justice and defense, will then fall to local government to take care of. This brings government closer to the people. This makes government more accountable. This allows people actually to rock up at government offices. We can't all rock up at the Pretoria buildings. This is too far Mm. for most of us. But we can access our local municipal buildings. It's so much easier. So we want to make government more accountable and bring it closer to the people. Uh, We do that they are Dinkum the qualified and, and duly included members of the national and the provincial ballot. How many provinces are you contesting, Lauren? We're not contesting provinces. Mm. So remember, there's three ballots now. Yes. So we're not, pro- we're not contesting provincial governments. But now at national level of legislation, there are two ballots, regional, which is the same borders of the province, mm. and then national. And it's just how they've decided to accommodate the independence. Mm. We are contesting on both those ballots, but still remember national government level. Uh, they're one of the new political parties on the block. It's our job largely to reflect who is on the ballot, and they will be on the ballot in the 2024 general elections. Leader of the organic humanity movement, Lauren Evanthea. She says she's not a leader. She wasn't elected as a leader of the organic humanity movement. They decided... Um, I'd like your thoughts, and you will have many political parties on our ballot 2024. We will try to give as many of them a platform. That is also our our responsibility as a public interest broadcaster, so I'd like to know what you think.